Today I'm going to show you how I made this ring for my friend Zach from Jerry Rig Everything. It's made from 14 karat gold and titanium from his fiance Cambry's wheelchair that's solid titanium. So the first thing that we need to do is measure the inside diameter of this channel ring that I made and compare it to the different dimensions on the wheelchair to find a piece that's going to fit inside that inlay. So once we've determined that the tubing on the wheelchair is pretty uniform and it happens to be just about the right size for what we need. We're going to take the plug off the back of this part of the wheelchair and just cut a small piece off so that we're not destroying the wheelchair. Now I'm double checking the inlay width and taking my caliper and marking the titanium so that I know where to cut it. Next I put the hacksaw on it and soon realized that the hacksaw is not quite going to cut through it. I tried for a super long time and it just never quite dug in. So eventually I had to move to the Dremel and just put one of those little abrasion discs on it and started cutting away at it. The only problem with those types of discs is they just explode every three seconds if you're not careful. And I should have gone with the cutoff blade that has the fiberglass reinforcement in it, but I didn't have any at the time and so I just blew through like 20 of these getting it removed. But eventually after tons of blades and a lot of effort, I got through all the titanium and it was able to pull off a little sliver of titanium. So now you can see that piece of titanium we cut off is basically the right size. And the goal is to slip this titanium ring over top of the gold ring. But in order to do that, we have to compress the gold ring so that it's small enough that we can slip the titanium ring over top of it. So we're gonna take a file and just remove any of those really sharp burrs so I don't cut myself. So I'm putting it into my ring compressor and shrinking it just enough that the titanium ring will slide over top. And now I'm going to expand the ring, but first I need to heat the ring and anneal it so that it softens the metal enough that when I'm stretching it back out that it doesn't break or rip or start cracking the ring. So I get it heated up to a nice dull red color and then I quench it and just double check one more time that the titanium actually fits over top of the gold. And now I'm going to put it on to the ring stretcher and start bringing the size of the ring back up to where it was before and locking the titanium into place. And now that I've got it pretty much into place, I'm just checking to make sure it's as tight as possible and that it's not caught on any edges. And then I move to the polishing wheel and I'm just polishing it up. And I actually really, really like the way this looks without a really, really shiny finish on it. I really like that rugged, um, darkened look. And so I'm just polishing it to a point where it's nice and shiny, but I'm not removing all that blackened oxidation off of it. And then I take the sandpaper just to hit the corners to really bring out some of that, that gold highlight. And I didn't even hardly touch the titanium because I really like the, those grooves and those natural characteristics that are in the titanium. And that's what it looks like. I think it turned out really good and it was a, this was a practice run for Zach's real ring just to make sure that this was a real way that we could do his ring when he came to film it and it turned out perfect.